you're new here from Star, come on in. Have a seat. You found a new home. We're glad you're here on KISS 98.5. Odyssey has done us dirty here in western New York. There's a station 102.5, Star 102.5 that became an Odyssey station. It is a 110,000 watt station that has had listeners in Erie, Pennsylvania, Rochester, and Toronto, and it serves the Buffalo market. But this station is now being sold to Educational Media Foundation. It is a religious broadcaster. And right now, the current owners, Odyssey, are stunting with WKSE right now. So this is 102.5 on the dial. Every girl that I have known but if you go down to 98.5, it's the same thing. WMSX, which is a Town Square media station uh, on 96.1, saw this as an opportunity to take the format that had previously been with WTSS. It's an all music hour on the new Star 96.1. And honestly, this station has switched formats an insane amount of times. Like just a year ago, it was called The Breeze and it was called something else before then. And their signal is nowhere near as good. They're only at, I believe, 47,000 watts. To give you an idea, WTSS is at 110,000. So this is not gonna have the reach that WTSS did. So I've got the antenna fully extended right now. As you can see, it's barely even breaking, what? It's no bars right now, but a second ago it was like two bars. So as you can see, this is incredibly weak. Yeah, look at that, it's it's barely holding on. It just knows that the HD signal's there, but it's just not strong enough to get it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that far away from any of the transmitter sites right now, and the fact that this is this weak just tells you how weak this signal is. So this is WTSS, and as you can see, I don't have the uh, antenna extended at all. I haven't even pulled it out, and it's already captured the HD signal, and it's uh, coming in really well right now. So just that comparison alone of the HD signal's reach will tell you that this is definitely a downgrade. So this stunting will continue to exist until the new owners take over the station. This is like an intermediary phase, which is why KISS 98.5 is on the 102.5 signal. So literally within a matter of days, this will switch over to the new owners programming. So one interesting thing about the stunning going on right now is that the HD2 and the HD3 of WKSC do not match the HD2 and HD3 of WTSS right now. So they've kept the original um, HD subchannels that were on WTSS. So in a second, it'll switch over to the uh, hybrid digital signal. If you're from Western New York, Southern Ontario, and even Northern Pennsylvania, you'll understand the importance of this station shutting down. I mean, I grew up with this station. This was Christmas music during the holiday season. This was 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s music. And it's something that I listen to quite a bit, and it's really sad to see it go. As I mentioned before, the new station just doesn't have the reach of the old one, which is why it's so sad to see it go. I know that WMSX is trying to replicate the old station, but it just doesn't have the reach. Plus, I grew up listening to Star 102.5, not Star 96.1. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York Over the Air on Instagram at WNY Over the Air. Like Western New York Over the Air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. And check out WNYOverTheAir.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.